What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do a driver comparison here on the Legion Go for the 2491 and the 2410 one that recently came out here. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do some comparisons when those come out, and I'll do more of that in the future, along with comparing to the OEM driver and more. But in this video, we've got that 24.9.1, which was a September 26th to that new October 11th, 2410 one driver, and they're pretty close together, and I think this is mostly support for Black Ops and some other games coming out, but it's always fun to see if we have any differences in performance so we'll take a look at five different games in the video starting with cyberpunk here and we'll start with 800p for this one running on pretty much medium 25 watts across the board for all of these uh games uh four gigs of vram you know i am not using recommended settings or anything like that just consistent settings so i can see if there's any difference in performance and for the most part there's not a huge difference, though. I will say a couple of games might be kind of surprising as we get into it. But Cyberpunk at 800p here, very, very similar performance uh, when you get into it. Slightly better on the older driver. I always run these three to five times and see what the best results are that I'm getting, see how things are doing temperature-wise. Sometimes there was a bigger difference in temps between the two for whatever reason. That's something I got to take a closer look at. Here at 1200p, though, performance Again, like 800p, very similar uh, to each other, but you will see that the older driver wins by just a little bit. It just gets a little bit uh, better performance by slightly and doesn't drop in some of the areas that I've seen on the newer driver. Again, it's negligible and not something anybody's going to notice, which is good for this game. But Cyberpunk's always one I do like to take a look at. And just jumping out of the benchmark real quick and real world performance, I would say again, very very similar here depending on what npcs are doing will depend on which driver at which time here as i walk around is ahead of the other one but ultimately we're not seeing any major stutters or issues or new issues introduced with the new driver so performance holding just fine when it comes to cyberpunk here now the next game i do want to take a look at is final fantasy 16 this one's been a real pain on the legion go it doesn't even run on the oem driver so that'll be interesting in that comparison later on in another video but taking a look here at the 2491 and then 2410 one in final fantasy you will see pretty much the same similar performance around these areas here uh, as we get into it i didn't run into anything really big or different here same thing here, although I will say areas of the game where there was a lot more effects on screen, I was getting better overall performance and frame times. And you'll see that right here, which I thought was pretty interesting for Final Fantasy. Again, and I get into this um, beginning of this fight here at the end of that run, right? Performance here is also a bit better. So again, as I moved around in this game, I started poking around a little bit after I was done recording. And indeed, areas of the saves that I would jump to where there's like more happening, I do get better performance with this driver, which is good to see because, again, this game's been pretty rough on the go. Metaphor is another one that whether I'm at 800p or 1200p, which we're at 1200p here, I saw a little bit of improvement as well when it came to the actual FPS. And the game's actually running pretty well. They've actually added anti-aliasing and an update over the past few days and that type of thing. 800p is typically what I've been playing the game at, and you'll get 10, 15 FPS more than this. But 1200p is what I was just testing and comparing to here. And ultimately, look at that 5 FPS increase in this one area for the new driver. So for Metaphor uh, and for areas of Final Fantasy 16, we're actually seeing a decent little bump in just overall performance for these two newer titles, which makes sense with this driver. A lot of times the newer games will benefit a bit more than the older games, but you always got to keep an eye out. Sometimes games kind of break a little bit or will lose big chunks of performance. So far in this driver update, I'm not seeing any loss in performance on the Legion Go, but I am seeing areas where some of these newer games here, you're seeing this newer driver is actually performing a good bit better. Back to an older game like Forza, uh, Forza Horizon 5, kind of like Cyberpunk being a little bit older, you get into it. This one is very much like Cyberpunk, where at 1200p, or if I go test 800, but I showed 1200 here in the video, performance is almost identical. The older driver, just like over in Cyberpunk, does offer just slightly, slightly better performance from time to time. Again, I run these over and over and over again to test them out, never just once, and that's pretty much what you see. So very similar to Cyberpunk, just slightly, slightly better performance. It's, it's negligible 
But Final Fantasy 16 and Metaphor, pretty nice change. Now, Space Marine 2, another newer title to run here on the go. It sees a little bit of bump here on the newer driver. It's not a lot, but you see a little bit of performance bump as we move around here in the game a little bit. So 1 FPS, 2 FPS, that's not a lot. But hey, when we're talking about these handheld machines here and playing games that are pretty tough to run, I'll take every 1 or 2 or 3 FPS or more that we can get out of each game. And every time they make a driver better and it pulls more out of the hardware, I'm all for it. Same thing sitting here again, one FPS increase. These aren't a lot and they're negligible, but hey, it is something as we get into it here. And both of these were running fine. I did notice that the newer driver on Space Marine 2 here, uh, side loaded, felt a little bit better most of the time. So again, it's not a big difference, but just something about playing on it was feeling a little bit better here. Hopefully Lenovo will get us an official newer driver, newer than that May, all April dated one that we have now. I'll definitely be comparing to the OEM official uh, Legion driver or Lenovo Go driver soon to this 24101 because I'm really curious and I want to show you guys some games that aren't working with that as well. But this update, nothing to complain about. Very slight loss on older games, very negligible. Those few newer games though, we're seeing a decent increase, especially Metaphor in certain areas of Final Fantasy 16 there. So pretty interesting, but no complaints here with the new side-loaded driver. Again, hopefully Lenovo will get us that new official driver soon, but until then, I'll probably be working on that next comparison for that for you guys. And I've got some stuff to catch up on the Ally and Steam Deck coming as well. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.